So this is a Blue Eddy EB150. I have a 240 also. Uh, why am I making this video and highly editing this <laughs> to make it much, much, much shorter? I got a solar generator. This is, again, a Blue Eddy. And the whole idea is to be able to hook it up to solar. This is actually a movie, but I'm taking a still of the footage and put the camera down uh, the whole idea is to run solar panels for these you could use it like a giant battery bank if you wished um, and I'm sure some people do just charge it from a wall outlet but really the idea of these is to be powered by solar so you have free power and energy all the time is the theory so I got this generator when it was on sale. They're having another sale. I don't work for Blue Eddy. I just like their stuff a lot. And I've been looking at solar panels. By the way, this is for the layman. This is not for experts like Hobo, the solar Jedi. So I'm not going to have too much techno babble. <laughs> Uh, I'm streaming and casting while doing this. Yeah. Um, vlog. So, this is their Costco 300 watt unit by Mossimo. They have a 100, a 200, and a 300. The 300 was $400 when I bought this about a week ago. And two days after I got it, after I purchased it, uh, before it even shipped here, I get a call from a Costco sales rep telling me, hey, we see you just bought this and the product went on sale five minutes ago. So they called me immediately and said, it's now $300. There's the 200 watt version, don't quote me, might be $60 off and the 100 watt small one might be 40 or $20 off. So I wanted the biggest one they had. If you price other companies, you pay about 700 to 1,000 for 300 watts, especially with the features that this one has. So this is a folding panel. I'm gonna edit something in from Costco. I got this slightly oversized, I guess, for my needs. Uh, it does weigh 30 pounds. Different places have different specs for this. I can confirm that it's 24 volt, not 16 or 18. I don't know where that came from. Um, for the somewhat technical people, this is when I took this around 10 in the morning. We had rain for a week straight and flooding. You can't actually see the clouds here. But it's cloudy. This is laying flat on the ground. So this is not up on the legs, the stands. This is flat. Um, and it is, I don't know, about April 8th. So you, in the northeast, you can imagine where the sun is at 10 o'clock. This is not 1 o'clock or, or noon sun yet. And there's a couple of uh, branches and leaves that are making a slight shadow so this is not optimal conditions uh short version you want this thing on an angle facing the sun with nothing in the way so i have terrible conditions and it's still making here 205 watts which is unbelievable for 300 dollars i mean this is literally less than half this is about a third the cost of anyone else for this panel. Uh, it is slightly heavy for some people. I'm 6'9", 340 jacked, so this is not super heavy for me. But the average person, I even at my size, I wouldn't want to cart this through the woods for five to a hundred miles. No less with the solar generator, mine, which is, I don't know, 40, 50 pounds. I'd have to look it up. You know, that's a lot of combined weight, plus all your other gear. But it is portable. It folds up. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna link something in. I'll uh, splice something in 
pictures from Costco or something. Uh, so I sat around for a couple minutes and the highest I saw was 260 with a little bit of shading at the wrong angle angle early in the day. Do I believe this is 300 watts? 100%. Uh, a lot of these lesser known brands that's not Blue Eddy or Jackery or some of the other ones you might know, they don't put out the power that they say uh, or even close. This one I 100% believe that it will do 300, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, so time is ticking away. Uh, in no special order I'm doing this. I will update after fooling this with this for a day or two. Costco has a lifetime no BS return policy. You break it, a bear chews on it, a Bigfoot takes a dump on it. it you just go in a hospital and you're never going camping again 22 years later. You can return it for a full refund, not prorated. Costco is amazing with that. Uh, again, in no special order, should you buy this at $300 for 300 watts? Yes. Unless size is an absolute problem, don't bother with the 100 or 200 watt. This came with, I don't know, a dozen adapters, multiple cords. I don't even know what all the cords are for. The one that came with it uh, goes right into the Blue, Blue Eddy and works. Max Oak, yes, thank you. So I didn't need any adapters. I don't know if this is normal, but I will say the cord is kind of short. I'm going to guess... It's not even five feet, three feet or something. And you don't want to have your solar gen laying in the sun, you know, for hours charging. So you definitely want to get an extension. I haven't sourced one yet, but uh, I'm going to email the company or ask somebody on YouTube. Uh, I'm sure Amazon has these in 10, 20, 30 foot extensions. Is there a loss because of the connector and the wire? I don't know. But. Even if it loses, you know, 20 watts because of the length of the cord, I don't care. Any quick questions before I go to my desk and... Uh, well, you have to do the math. And if this was 2,000 watts, this, this one is uh, 1,600. Uh, if it was rated allegedly, it's probably a little less than that. And again, this is not going to be super technical, but the unit kind of reserves a little power because they don't want the battery to fully die. And there might be a slight uh, power loss from using AC or DC, whatever. But it's definitely over 1,200 watts. But let's just say it was 2,000. And I'm getting 200 watts. Um, that's 10 hours. Now, of course, when this goes up to 300, it's going to cut it down. It's just simple math. Yes, you could run two of these. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this generator will take up to 500 solar. And even though this is 300 and 300, which is 600, you probably don't always get 300 you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and it takes a little bit more than it says it's been tested. But, yeah, I don't see why you can't run two of these together for 600 watts, which now is going to cut the, the charging time in half. Yeah, that now that's if it's all the way down. But if you've only used 20% of the power, then it's not going to take so long. I'll take two more questions. Uh, okay, so she's asking, can you have this charging from the sun, as you see it right here, and use it at the same time? Absolutely, I tested it. So there's a cigarette plug here. You can look up Blue Eddy EB150 or 240. Um, this isn't a great shot of this. I just wanted to get the meter. But there's several USBs. There's a regular... Yeah, this is a, like a car cigarette plug. And in the back, there's several uh, AC. This has an inverter. So you could plug uh, 
a vacuum cleaner into this, power tools, an Instapot. People take these camping or have them in a van, you know, van life, RV. And you could run everything, lights, television, air conditioning, all, all of these things. Assuming you don't go over the maximum watts. Now this one, this particular unit, is one of the best deals ever if you only need a medium amount of watts. Um, I won't get too technical, but talk to someone before you buy a unit. In fact, this one that I'm showing here is sold out and the slightly bigger EB140, there's only a few left. They've come out with new models. But you just want to make sure you're not drawing more watts than this has. For example, let's say this can put out a thousand watts. If you have a device that's 2000, this is not going to run it. Or if you have a combined 2000, it is not going to run it. So you want to make sure you're like a thousand or less. I got mine for a very specific use and a thousand watts is way more than I need. But the fact that I can also use it in an emergency for other stuff, I have a, a gas and a propane generator, but uh, during Hurricane Sandy, there was 18 hour here uh, wait lines for gas, you know, and propane. And during earthquakes, if something happens to go down with Russia, again, it's uh, April 8th, 2022. So yes, you can absolutely charge. I tested it with multiple things. Uh, part two of her question. Okay, she's asking, will it charge slower? Yes. So if I'm putting 200 in and I'm drawing 100, it'll charge 100 because that's what's left over. But if I'm drawing 300 and putting 200 in, uh, it's not going to, right. It's just very simple math. Now it will, it's still giving it something, so it'll extend the time that something will run. Yeah. Uh, it's simple division. You just take how many watts the item is Let's say you have a microwave and you, and you want to cook, or a hot plate, you're camping. I would use propane like the jet boil or something. But let's say you, or an Instapot is common. You just look up the wattage. I don't know what it is, and you just do a math. Let's say I have 1,200 watts, and this thing takes 1,000. You know, I have a little over an hour. I can use it if I'm not charging it. Now, if you were at the maximum solar, which I think is 500, now you can use stuff for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what's your question? Okay, you can have a few parts. Yes, you can use AC and DC at the same time. Yes, it is full sine wave, not fake sine wave. Yeah, uh, so I'll, sh I'll show that. I'm going to splay something in when I'm done with this spiel. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to pause, and I'll, I'll get some uh, footage. Just give me a sec. They, they want to see the solar panel on the ground. Somebody wanted to see. It just says Max Oak Blue Eddy. EB150, so this is from the side, I'm pausing again. So here's the panel, there's a little bit more back here, I think I have another shot. So as you can see, there's shade and some trees and branches, and this is getting hit a little bit. Uh, it's just a towel I laid down, so this is not, it literally rained and flooded for a week. So, yeah, there's five. And this just flips, 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 flips. So then it's only one square big. And then there's a big old Velcro. And there's a very nice strong handle. This is allegedly water resistant or proof. It's probably like IP68 or something. Uh, I wouldn't leave this out year round. But a little sprinkle or something is fine. And it has a no bullshit return policy. 
No, it's, yeah, some, they're asking, does it have grommets? No, some have, like, little holes with metal inside where you could hang these from various things. But it does have, uh, I can't zoom like that, little straps um, every junction, so you can hang it. Yes, I'm not a fan of them, but it does, you can directly do USB. Uh, it probably shows it. Yes, it has those cords also, but this one happened to fit mine. Uh, despite what it says, the 300 watt is 30 pounds. Yeah, and I confirmed it is absolutely 24 volts. I don't, one person told me 16, one said 18. It's 24 without a doubt. Uh, yes, this particular unit, and if you have a different one, you have to check yours. But Blue Eddy is real high. Most of the name brand ones are pretty high. But yes, even in series, this would only be 50 volts. And it can take up to 60, and the current shouldn't be a problem either. So you absolutely could run two of these. And that would be unbelievable. If you're going camping or have a van or wherever outside barbecue yeah i mean slightly more tech technicals it has an mppt controller and all of that this could be all you have rather than wiring shit in a van or an rv a small one you could use this as your only power source instead of a battleborn battery and all the bs that the laymen don't know about all right i'm going to pause see if i have a better shot of this so I don't have a better shot, but like I said, I'm going to splice something in. I just wanted to show that it was working. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to end it here. Again, this is uh, Costco. I'll, I'll talk about it more. Doing this for the third time due to a technical issue. I'm a little bored now. This is Costco.com, just a regular Costco website. Uh, in advance, I am not a professional reviewer. If you just Google or go to Amazon or YouTube, solar panels, folding solar panels or portable, um, a lot of these people work for companies. Maybe someone works for Massimo or, yeah, for EcoFlow or all the other ones, and they're going to do a review and make it seem stellar because they work for the company. A lot of people, especially in Amazon, but on YouTube, get paid in free products, lots of them, and or monies or other compensations. I am not a professional reviewer. I'm not on the take. I'm a regular guy. This is a one and done for me. So I'm getting questions from the stream and cast and such. Vlog. Um, this went on sale immediately after these guys did, which I'm assuming is still on sale. It may not be. It may have run out already, but we'll see in a moment. In fact, oh, oh, okay, it is on sale. So this was when I bought mine for $19. And two days later, it was $100 off. So now it's $300 for 300 watts, which is a dollar a watt. This one is, so to get 300 watts, you need two of these. It's a tiny bit more. And so it's $600 with the sale. I don't know what the regular price is, but this is probably $100 off. So literally, the one that I showed is half what this is. And there's other ones that are, it's about a third what they cost. And as far as I know, the quality is great. I will absolutely update good, bad, or otherwise after I use it more. Yes, yeah, so this is the 100 watt. And then there's a 200, there's a price difference. Look at the difference between the 200 and the 300. It's almost like a misprint. I don't know why this should be on sale. I don't, I just think it's not listed 
from what I remember, it was maybe $60 off. Uh, but if it's not, why get this when for much cheaper, you could get the 300 watt? So unless you physically can't carry 30 pounds, here's the handle, right? Okay, so there's some nice pictures. So this is what it looks like. Um, in my picture, this is folded over, so you can't see this. Here's the handle. Oh, it will zoom again. Oh, it will zoom again, again. No. Nope. Okay. So here's what the handle looks like. It's very comfortable, sewn on well, rubber. Yeah, this kind of flops over. Here's some of the adapters I spoke of. Uh... I guess there's not a standard and different units use different adapters. Um, there's a ton of them, but the, the cable that comes with it plugs right into the blue eddy. So here's just a picture of it open like I showed with the flap here. So I'm going to be honest with you. There's some legs on this. This, this is not supposed to be, this is supposed to be folded over. But anyway... There's some legs on the back that they might show pictures of. They're kind of flimsy. I would think if a decent wind came by, this is going to fall over. Where if you had a not uh, folding, super portable, they would have a more rigid leg, like a fold-out table. Uh, it seems a little chintzy to me. However, that said, mine laying flat makes... The, the right amount of power so I have no problem with that for what this cost yeah some people like move them continuously to get every last watt if I my life counted on it I might bother you would be better hanging this somehow with some hooks off a tree or something yeah, I don't know what mag. I don't know, but maybe lean it against your against your car or something. But again, flat worked great for me. Yeah, so each segment has a leg in the back that's velcroed on, and I'm going to be honest with you, getting the velcro off at least the first time is a bitch and a half. It's strong. This might look like oh, I could put this up in five seconds because of the weight. When you're doing this leg, if you're doing it by yourself. This thing is flopping all over and twisting, and it's trying to fall down. And if you kind of put this up against your thigh and do the next one, it doesn't work. I don't know how one person can do this. This would be hard with two people. With four or five, maybe it'll go on the legs. So I can't tell you how strong they are. Probably with the smaller unit that's a lot lighter, the legs would be not so bad. But... I have nothing to say. I will update about the legs. Okay. So here's the legs. Again, they just fold down and Velcro on. Um, there's no way one guy did this. I can tell you for sure. This is not possible. I don't know why he didn't fold this down. Because this is... Yeah, that's another solar generator. Uh, I don't know the dimensions. But it says... In the specification so here it is folded down this is a huge unit back here this is a refrigerator actually so this looks tiny but this is this is a fairly good size this is not like a children damn does anyone even know what a trapper keeper is <laughs> or a note <laughs> kids don't even have notebooks anymore uh, so this is a good size I'll I'll tell you the dimensions but that's what it looks like folded up it's all velcroed it's not floppy and there's a nice handle so there's a pouch on the back with kind of a waterproof zipper type setup and inside is this which has regular USB and DC yeah and C and this is where the solar connector goes they gave me three cables. One fits right in my machine. And again, there's all those adapters. And I don't know what the hell the other two are. Maybe other machines have whap, wacky connectors. Um, but in my case, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to say in general, between the three cables and the however many 
10 adapters or something. I don't think there's no, no system this is not going to fit. Like you're not going to have to search around for the right connector to make it work. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, like hardcore people don't like these. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's kind of useless to have USB. But in a pinch, I guess I'd rather have it than not, right? Let's say my power bank, somebody stole it, it blew up, it was dead. I guess you could still get USB. So if you had to charge a phone or whatever in an emergency. Like a normal USB. Anything USB charges or runs this will If you have USB be devices a fan or uh yes well this would be underneath and it's in kind of a waterproof zippery this is rubbery and when the flap goes on the zipper is hidden by this is it completely waterproof don't i wouldn't leave it in a puddle but again, light showers, if this is closed and it's underneath, yeah, it's, it's not going to get wet or have any problems. All right, so I'm going to close this out. Again, like I said, if you're interested in this thing, I'm going to update this maybe later today or tomorrow and periodically after I use it. Uh, I talked about that earlier in the video if you came in late. So I'm going to post this in a little bit on my gear channel and a military channel and I'll probably put it on one of my gaming YouTubes which is Boosted Laser one word B-O-O-S-T-E-D Laser yeah uh, not much else I could say but go uh, don't understand the question turn it on no, there's no, like, a switch to turn it on. Nope, you put it in the sun, and it just works. There's no on and off. You plug it in. I did have, it didn't work at first, I thought. So my solar generator that I showed, uh, you know, over time, due to parasitic loss and other things, batteries lose a little bit of charge. Even if you have a phone and it's off and you don't use it for three months, it's going to lose a certain percentage, 5%, 10%, I don't know. Depends on your phone and the loss and the circuitry and all this. Uh, so I haven't charged this in maybe two months, the solar generator, the battery, and I assumed that it was missing a few watts just from loss and time. So I set this up and I plugged it in and I was very unhappy when it wasn't getting any power. So I fooled with adapters and I plugged it in and out and <laughs> turned it on and off a few times and it wasn't working and I'm like, well shit, I'm going to return this thing. It doesn't like my unit or it's broken and I cursed out China a few times. Um, and then I said, what if it's still full? So I got a device, it doesn't matter, a leaf blower plugged it in, ran it for 30 seconds, and then sure enough, it instantly started taking a charge. Noise? No, there's no noise. There's no fan or engine. It's just solar hitting this. So it is a little strange for it to be dead quiet. And just if you're new to solar, it's so peculiar. The, in the, uh, there is a fan on most large it's really a battery bank but i'll call it a solar generator but certainly outside it's not loud like a leaf blower it's like one computer fan you know it's i'm gonna say it's essentially whisper quiet if i was in a van or a very small rv and this thing was next to my ear it would make slight fan noise but i rather like white noise but if it's a you know a few feet away no there's there's no sound look in an apocalypse earthquake russian war china war whatever it is another hurricane people turn into scumbags very quickly and if you have a generator whether it's in mine is on the front porch or in the backyard or on the side mine's even chained up and there's another security measure 
you know, when people are in panic mode and they hear your generator, a gas generator is loud and a propane, uh, people may try to steal it. And you don't want to go through that. One of the nice things about solar is there's no noise. And something like this, you know, you could hide in your backyard. Maybe there's a fence or trees. And you could hang it up on the side of the house or lay it on the grass, which is really hard to see. Or up from a tree if it faces the sun. And there's no noise. If somebody's looking to steal a generator and they're just driving with the windows opening, listening, they're not going to hear this because it's dead silent. Uh, I can't answer that as this is my first solar panel, but I can tell you I was out at 10 in the morning. If there's sun that's working, I would think at 6 in the morning, especially at this time of year, when the sun is really low, you're not going to get two, 300 watts, but you'll get something, even if it's 100. I actually would have been happy with a 1 or 200, but having the extra... When conditions aren't great, you still get a good chunk of power. Like, for example, uh, if I only wanted 100 watts, or if that would have been fine. Let's say it's a little overcast, the sun is weird, whatever the story is. The sun is low, or it's late in the day. Instead of getting 100 watts, maybe you get 50 or 30. Well, that's a lot less than I wanted. But if you want 100 and you get a 300 and it only gets half, that's still 150 watts, you understand? So I think over-specking is always the way to go. As long as there's sun. Uh, it doesn't work on heat, just the brightness of the sun lumens. So essentially, you know, from 6 in the morning till whatever the sun goes down, 8 at night. Now, several of those hours, super early and late, you're not going to get a lot of watts, but you're still getting something. Do you understand? Even if it's only 6 hours that you get the maximum, which is something common I hear people say in some videos I've watched. And for another 4 hours, you get 80 to 85%. That's great, and then it really goes down, you know, it rolls off. That's fantastic. Now imagine if you had two of these together, right? You have five or, you know, 600 watts. Right, you're going to fill this up, sucker up quick. I talked about how long it'll run, uh, but you could just Google that. It's a simple math, and it'll tell you how long you can run stuff. Uh, go on. How long does it last? I can't answer that. Uh, some panels say if you leave them outside all the time, especially, it seems that being ultra hot is not great. Like if you're in Florida or Southern Texas, anywhere where it gets super hot with a lot of, yeah, near the equator, especially if the ozone is thinner, etc. Um, it degrades it. I don't know, a year, 10 years, 20 years, maybe it'll lose 10 or 20 percent, but I don't give a shit for this price. Hell, I could always return it and get another one if they have it. But I wouldn't worry if it lost personally 10 percent. I'd rather it didn't. But again, for $300, this is the biggest deal in history. I like Blue Eddy the best out of what you just listed. Jackery's not bad. I think they're overpriced. Eco Pro, Pro I think is overpriced. The If you need a thousand watts or less, the EB240 Max Oak, Blue Eddy, um, is the biggest steal in the whole solar generator game. I don't know how many are left. If you want one, you could buy it now. It's for the power, super cheap. Are the newer ones more bells and whistles and all that? Yes, but you're paying a five to a thousand, five hundred to a thousand more dollars for them with less capacity. But they can run more stuff. So talk to an expert or ask me, I can help you with that. And that Blue Eddy may go on sale. They're actually having an Easter sale on some stuff right now if you go to their website. 
on a couple products like four hundred dollars off uh, they usually have a spring or summer sale. If there's any of those EB240s left, it'll probably be a good chunk off of it. But you're playing a dangerous game because there's not many left. And when they're gone, they're gone. They're not going to make any more. But uh, get what you want. Always go bigger than you think. Uh, don't cheap out. Don't go, oh, I saw one for 200 bucks. Believe me, it's going to be garbage. You, you don't want that. Okay, so unless there's any more questions, uh, okay, he said he typed slow, or she, uh, probably a she, uh, blah, blah, yeah, I mean, the panel, if it gets dusty, if you're in the desert, I don't know, mud, uh, you do want to clean it, I'm pretty sure it's glass or some kind of tough-ish plastic that covers it, usually it's glass, but carefully clean it, I'm assuming, with window cleaner or just water and a microfiber towel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I haven't stopped making this, so I don't know where you get an, an extension cord. But I'm 100% certain that Amazon will have exactly what I need. Oh, so, as this is in no order and I'm doing this off the cuff... This unit, as of 4822, there is not a single review in the world on this product. I was a little leery, like, you can find reviews for using human skulls as a cup. Probably a million reviews of that. But there's not one review of this, which means it's really bad and everyone has returned it and hated it. Or it's super new. Uh, I asked Costco and they said it's probably super new because this company is very known and famous for other stuff. You can look Massimo up. Um, I, I honestly thought it was going to be crap. I would have been happy again if it was half what it said. If this did 150 watts or, you know, closer to 200 for $300, I would have been happy. Oh, still typing. Uh parts okay so the first part is asking how long to set up I mean I'm a normal healthy relatively young person uh, it's basically velcro I don't know lift off the velcro and then unfold the sections maybe eight seconds four seconds and then the same to close it up so there's no building or I don't No, it literally un, just unfolds. It's that easy. How do you know when it's done charging? Okay, so all of them, and mine is n not very complex to display. Newer units are really complex and they tell this and that and a lot of shit most of you don't know or care about. Um... Mine just has a status light, you know, a bunch of bars. And the bottom is empty. It's like a gas gauge on a car, if you want to think of it that way, or like your phone when it's charging. Some do have a number. I would have preferred a number, but uh, this is a review about the panel. But it'll tell you when it's done. It will just go to zero. So you'll see it putting watts in, and then when it's full, you'll see the bars are all the way up top solid, and it will no longer be taking watts. That's a good question that is beyond me. If anybody that's an expert, shout out to Hobo again, the ninja. He's the Jedi Master of uh, Solar. Uh, so they're asking, what if I'm charging and it fills up my solar generator, but I walked away to do something. Is all of that voltage being pumped in? Is that going to overcharge and blow up the battery? I'm going to say no. I mean, this is not a difficult circuit to turn the thing off. Now, would I leave it running 18 hours in the blistering sun? No. Uh, no, it's not best for it to be burning hot. So probably sitting on a little white tarp or blanket would be smarter than a dark one. 
uh, which is going to heat it up more, I would think. On grass, I don't, you know, dirt, I don't know if I'd want to put mine on dirt or mud, but on grass, there's going to be natural little gaps in the grass, which is going to have airflow, which would help cool it. Yeah, when it gets hot, I'm sure efficiency goes down a couple percent, but again, it, it, for what I paid for this thing and how big it is, if I lose a couple of percent, I'm not worried. Uh, part three, how do you hook up two? Uh, well, you could do series or parallel. Look into that. I'm not going to explain it here, but it's essentially just a cable that you plug together. It takes uh, five seconds if you wanted to run two. Uh, my store did not have the 300 watt in stock or the 200. The, I saw that either my store or one close um, had the 100, but it was, I didn't want to get it and have to carry it out and lug the damn thing home. It was free shipping, uh, and handling, so, uh, why not have it shipped? And it came fast in my case. Uh, it was, it came from only a couple towns away, but it was expedited shipping. Uh, I don't think it's going to take five days from anyone don't quote me on that but it was fast it took like a day or two i think it was two days to process but i may have got it on a friday night or a saturday morning i ordered it so you had the weekend and sunday but all of a sudden yeah it's just a couple days i will absolutely update it good bad other in fact it's still yeah it's now 12 22 so we're, we're getting at peak overhead sun. I'm going to go see how many watts. I'll definitely update that. Uh, that is beyond me. I don't know what that connector is. But like I said, there's eight or ten adapters and there's three different cords. Can you kind of describe what it looks like? A male and female yes one of the cords I don't know that that could be the name but yeah it's exactly how you're describing it mm-hmm yeah yeah so, again this is not about my uh, solar generator but yes you can do it a multitude of ways including uh, they give you a 250 watt power supply. Originally, it was, I think, a 180 or 200, but mine's a 250. Yeah, so you can just plug it in if there was no sun. If you're at a camping spot or an RV spot, Walmart's, different places, you could just run an extension cord, yeah. Okay, so unless there's anything else, I'm going to end this. Right now, I'm going to say... In the entire folding portable solar game, this is the best deal ever. It seems to be made of high quality, and yeah, I'm a gadget guy, and I'm a, among other things in the military, and a pro drag racer. I work with tools, and I understand construction. This is very well made. Uh, if I was to fold it and unfold it wet and sandy a hundred times, could it come apart? Maybe. Uh, I don't know if I used it every day and was constantly moving. Would it last 20 years? Don't know. But from in my case, this is going to be kind of more an emergency and a niche thing. Yeah. Yeah, I would certainly update it if that was the case. Yeah, there is, that's what I said. There is no reviews on YouTube. There's nothing on Google. The 100 watt has a couple of Costco, but it's nothing. Sometimes if you look for a, a good review, especially in Amazon, and look, I'm not hating on anyone, but you'll get a housewife from Ohio. Hey, can you tell me like some hardcore specs and details about this? Yeah, it works good. I mean, can you tell me the voltage? Uh, yeah, we use it and it's great. We power a mini fridge. Yeah, that's great. 
You know what I mean? You get the peanut gallery that gives ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I don't understand the question. Unfolding how? Oh, it's really strong, large patch of industrial Velcro. I don't know, if you used it a hundred times and bugs and dirt and leaves and sand got in the Velcro and you were carrying it, could, I, I think the patch of Velcro could be half or 70% less and it would still hold it together. So I don't think, you're talking about just walking and the motion, you know, the up and down and bumps if you step on a rock. No, it's not just going to fly apart on you. It's, it's strong. It's almost hard to get apart. I had a, a, a an exotic dancer who's, I don't know, 100 pounds, maybe a little more with the new implants. And she had trouble getting it apart. Finally did. Okay. Yeah, I talked about that already, but I can show it one more time. So it doesn't... This is not the best picture. So it doesn't have, yeah, those things, but it does have, uh, it does have the sewn in straps. Now, is this real Chinesey? And if you hang it up on two, is it going to fall? Maybe. I'm going to, I'm going to look because I know about, I got bug out bags and all kinds of gear and I understand high level sewing and threads and all this. So I'll know. If this is going to fall apart but you're most likely not going to hang it from one you're going to use several right or two i should say uh there's no reason you couldn't hang it from the handle i mean it's designed to carry the weight i don't know how you would retrofit it to do that. like i wouldn't put one hook it would get floppy but yeah some if you had a piece of wood on the you know the side of the house that was like a u shape and you were going to put this in the you know the valley of the u if it was just the right length yeah that would work but this is tall even at my height this is long all right i'm going to pause for a second okay so you could just go to costco but i'm going to show it so as you could see here's the different wattages so here's the thing okay it's 28 pounds and it's 21 high yeah and here's the thickness right uh you know what this i don't know if this is the right dimensions i think honestly the weight might be right i'm not sure i don't i think this is the 100 watt if i'm being honest with you even though i could be wrong but i think this might be the 100 watt Mm hmm Yo, here it is. Three to five days. So the reviews here for the 100 watt. I don't know why this guy said it didn't work. Maybe he had the wrong connector on is my guess. Um, or he's a moron. There's a lot of idiots in the world. You would think it wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, wrong connector. I, I really have no information. It, a lot of times it's the competition. Maybe EcoFlow, this guy's the president, and said, let's go sabotage these guys so we get more sales than them. Happens all the time when you see bad reviews. It's so scandalous. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this went much longer than I wanted. And yes, people are asking, you promise? Yes, I'm going to good, bad, or ugly... I'll do an update absolutely today in a couple hours in the comment area. And if anyone has questions that I can help you with, feel free to write in the comment areas on my various channels. If you would prefer audio, I have several discords. Uh, it's like Skype or, yeah, if you're an Apple guy, it's free. You can just download Discord at, I don't know, discord.com. 100% free, easy to use. If you're computer savvy free account the whole thing i like it better than all those other things uh yeah my only guess is that it's so new 
and and that's kind of what Costco told me. I talked about that, but to repeat it, and then I'm definitely done, guys. Uh, I asked four times some things at Costco, mostly like computers, tablets, televisions, probably phones. They have a return, a more normal amount of time, probably slightly better than other places. But everything else uh, at Costco that's not, let's call it high technology electronics, is a lifetime no BS return. Not prorated. They don't give a shit if you bring it back. If you chop it up with an axe and bring it back looking like a jigsaw puzzle, they don't care. In fact, the last person I asked who was a manager that I just happened to get because someone was on lunch or something said... I have a personal story for you. And I said, what? Uh, right before I got this job, I had an elliptical exercise machine from Costco, a couch, and what was the other? And a table. I don't know. They moved to a new apartment or house or something, and they got all new shit. And the elliptical exercise machine was starting to wear. It was literally 10 years old, used every day by several people. And it was just wearing out. It was squeaking, the handles were kind of breaking, and the display was wonky. And he said he brought it all back, 10 years old, and got a 100% refund for everything. Not prorated. What he paid, he got back. So... There, there's no hassle. Try this thing. If you don't like it, if there's something that pisses you off, return it. No problem. Use it for a year. Uh, I'm not... Well, you know, I got no dog in this fight. This guy said, uh, let's say I'm going on a one-time only camping trip for two weeks with my family and probably never again. What's to stop me... He said he has a solar generator. What's to stop him from buying this, using it, and returning it like women do with clothing and shoes? I, do women do that? They buy an outfit to wear once and return it? I've never heard of that. I got a couple of dancers here I'm going to ask him. Uh, nothing. I mean, is it kind of a douchey move? Yeah, but there is nothing to stop you from doing that whatsoever oh I'm absolutely unless something if I go out and it's melted outside <laughs> but outside of some catastrophe yeah I'm going to keep this thing and recommend it to everyone there again there is no better deal there's nothing even close this is half or a third this is 50 to 70 percent off every other unit or more Uh, I'll know, I'm gonna, so it's 12.33, I'll check now, and until maybe it's fully charged, but I'll pull some power out of the, yeah, out of the generator, and I'll, I'll test it from about now, 12.30, uh, until 1.30, maybe I'll go longer, and then I'll write the results.